pleased with the reaction to your gesture <laughs> in terms of Froome's data and maybe approach to uh, keep? Well, I, I, I'm not too sure what the reaction's been, to be honest. I think we just did what we thought was right. Um, I can't say that I, I, would, I couldn't tell you exactly what the, the reaction is, but if you're saying it's a positive reaction, then that's a great thing. And I'd like to think it's the start of a, you know, thinking about the situation slightly differently and, and, and trying to work in a bit more open way with a panel of experts. We're in touch with UK Anti-Doping, that ball's rolling now. We've been in touch with WADA, that ball's rolling. And I think, you know, um, really, I think, you know, people believe maybe in, in the lands here, but where deep down, maybe they knew they shouldn't. And I think they might have carried that now and, and they kind of disbelieving in Chris where deep down I think they know that they should and I think where the authorities probably look back on that Armstrong here and think oh, we did a bit you know a bit too little uh, at that time to uncover what was going on I would say now they're looking at this situation hopefully and thinking we're doing a little bit little too, bit too little here to protect Chris and uh, and demonstrate the support for him that he deserves and that'd be my take on the situation I mean one of the things I was going to ask is that it's been uh, commented on that you've only released up to, well, back to 2011. You said it's the start of the process. Never enough, really. Well, I mean, quite. Is that, no. is that the problem? It's never good. You're never no, going to please can. everyone? Not at all. No, no. Well, you can't, can you? Because you can't prove a negative. So every time you go, you, you'll take every, you know, say, okay, we could do this and this and this, and somebody, well, okay, but you haven't done that. And it'll be an ongoing process. But there we go. I think, you know, we can't expect that um, people may have 100% confidence in, in this sport, given the recent past. But I think you could optimise the level of confidence that people would have, you know, and get it as high as it could possibly go, realistically. And we'll do everything we can to try and achieve that, because at the end of the day, you know, Chris, Chris and the rest of the team have worked awfully hard for this. And uh, he's been a fantastic member of this team for a number of years now. And he started out from very, very humble beginnings in, in bike racing. And he's made his way to the top of this podium and, and with one day to go to Paris. And he's doing it the right way. And uh, whilst we've got to be patient and everything else, it quite, it, it, when I watch, I know what's going on. And I watch somebody who, who's absolutely doing it the right way, same as the whole team. And I watch the treatment that he gets. And it's, um, it, it's quite hurtful, you know, to see what happens. You feel for the life, you know. And um, I don't think he deserves it. Is he pain for the Armstrong scandal that happened over the winter? Is that it's probably the worst tour to try and win, isn't it? You know, the yeah. one where all the Armstrong kind of thing comes out, the lid's taken off of what was going on, and everybody realised what was going on. And then you come to the first tour after that. You would expect that public who trusted in this sport for a long, long time to be a bit angry and a bit frustrated with, with what they found out. And, um, you know, I think maybe maybe there's an element that I don't know, no, but like I've said all along, I think it's, it's understandable. I talked to Frederick Duck today, who did the examination and the analysis of right. the results. He, um, he still listed some test results concerning, for example, the VO2 max for now and from before 2011. Are you willing missing them because we haven't done them. We don't no, do the VO2 max, no, so it's not, but, that you, but not that we got them, we're not giving them. Be careful yes, what I he's know. saying. Be careful what he's saying here. The fella has never done a VO2 max test, so how can I give somebody a VO2 max test if he hasn't done one? But listen Be to careful me. what listen he asks. He urges you to do the test after the tour so that you can... We've spoken, we've done it. Listen, yeah. we're speaking to him directly, you know what I mean? We know what he's urging us to do, yeah. thanks. Yeah, but would you be willing to uh, come forward and do that? What, do a VO2 max test? Yes. When he's in a lab next, in wherever it is, yeah. 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 It's not and something we do as a matter of course, you know. And also the you results know. before 2011. If we got them, yeah. yeah. You know, I think we've got data, we've got the data that we've got. It, let's be clear here, let's, let's, you know, this is where it gets misunderstood. Frederick Graff sent us an analysis, right? And his analysis had a load of, he went up and all these climbs, the final climbs, and an analysis. And these are the estimated values that I've estimated, and, we, and, and I was shown that. I said, right, actually, instead of using estimated values, why don't we give you the real values and the real things? So we had a, he had his table, and we populated his table with the real values. Now, you can't tell me, well, he didn't go, you know, you should have thought of it beyond what he was, you know, what he was doing. It was just, he just gave us a list of clients, you know, and we said, okay, well, here's the data, not a problem. If he wants to give us another list of clients, you give him another list of data, you know, it's, you know, I think, I think you'll be careful, because every time we try and support something, if, you've got, if all you guys are going to do is try and say, well, that's, well, that's all well and good, but you haven't done that, we're never going to win, are we? You know, either we get behind this ladder or we don't, you know.